dilemma. Prince Harry plunged into new crisis after royal fans boycott his U.S. paymaster's Netflix. The new Princess Diana musical has been roundly slammed by critics and viewers over its hysterically awful lyrics and absurdly over-the-top production. Diana, the musical, which centers around the love triangle between the princess, Charles and Camilla, was due to premiere on Broadway in 2020 but was delayed due to COVID. Last week, a filmed version of the production premiered on Netflix, ahead of the show finally opening next month. But any hope the televised version would drum up interest, and ticket sales, for the stage show has been dealt a serious blow by scathing reviews and social media verdicts published on both sides of the Atlantic. The Evening Standard, The Times and the Chicago Tribune gave Diana, the musical damning one-star reviews, while viewers have mocked the ridiculous songs, including a number where paparazzi sing better than a Guinness, better than a WK slash snap a few pics, it's money in the bank, on social media. Commentators have called on Prince Harry, who has an estimated $100 million deal with Netflix, to cut ties with the streaming giant over the degrading and exploitative depiction of his mother and the royal family. Mail Online's Dan Wharton wrote, if he fails to speak out against such a horrendous depiction of his mother, then he is tacitly endorsing it. At one point Diana sings how she wishes Charles was Elton John before adding, all right, I'm no intellect slash but maybe there's a discotheque slash where the prince could hear prince and we'd all get funkadelic. Later, she sings to her infant son, Harry my ginger-haired son, you'll always be second to none. As Vanity Fair's Richard Lawson notes, the lyrics are not meant to be silly and campy, despite how they might read on paper. They are just the stilted, embarrassingly serious ramblings of a show that has no interest in real humanity. Duval, who has said it is a huge privilege to play the princess, was criticized for the lack of nuance within her performance, with several comparing it to Kristen Stewart's powerhouse take on the princess in upcoming film, Spencer. Others have questioned the accuracy and tone of the musical, with Wooten writing, Diana, the musical is the most offensive and degrading portrayal of the late Princess of Wales in fiction since her death in 1997, and in terms of accuracy it makes that other historically derided Netflix series The Crown look like a royal encyclopedia of truth. The lies about Di's life are egregious, from suggesting she used HIV patients for publicity to attacking Margaret Thatcher for her politics. The criticism has been echoed by viewers, who have taken to Twitter to mock the production. One tweeted, I just watched the first 20 minutes of Diana the musical to wind down after preview 2 and I am so tired I think I am hallucinating. Can people please confirm this is actually a thing because it is like a fever dream. Another posted, all you need to know about the Diana musical on Netflix is that it has a song that contains the lyrics it's a thriller in Manila with Diana and Camilla. A third added simply, whoever decided to create Diana the musical on Netflix made a horrible mistake grimacing face hash Diana the musical. The musical, directed by Tony Award winner Christopher Ashley, also features characters including royal butler Paul Burrell and biographer Andrew Morton, while James Hewitt is depicted as a bare-chested sex god. Stuart Heritage from The Guardian writes, what a genuinely bizarre work of art this is. You could stick a pin in almost every song and pull out a line that makes the whole endeavor feel like it was specifically created as a berserk prank against the world. My particular favorite is the moment when Diana looks into a crib and tenderly sings, Harry, my ginger-haired son, you'll always be second to none. But others might prefer the part when the Queen belts out a song about Prince Charles's inability to keep it in his pants, or the song that appears to be called A Thriller in Manila with Camilla.